Sexual harassment allegations involving top names at Fox News. Former host Juliet Huddy claimed Bill O'Reilly made repeated unwanted advances. Huddy reportedly struck a settlement with Fox shortly after Chairman Roger Ailes was ousted amid similar accusations by another Fox personality. ABC's Lindsay Janis joins us now with the details. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. That reported settlement kept quiet until now. Huddy threatening to sue Fox, claiming when she rebuffed O'Reilly's advances, he tried to derail her career. This morning, newly uncovered allegations against Fox News. The cable network reportedly reached a financial settlement regarding sexual harassment allegations, this time against star anchor Bill O'Reilly. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. In a draft of a letter of complaint obtained by LawNews.com, a website owned by Dan Abrams, ABC News chief legal analyst, Juliet Huddy, uh, a former Fox News host who had a segment on the O'Reilly factor, claims she was replaced after rebuffing several sexual advances from O'Reilly. I didn't know how to explain this, Juliet Huddy. The document alleges in 2011, O'Reilly gave Huddy a tour of his home, where he allegedly moved in and kissed her on the lips. Huddy's lawyers saying she allegedly recoiled and actually fell to the ground. Huddy's lawyers claiming the following week O'Reilly allegedly took her to a Broadway show, dropped the key to his hotel room into Miss Huddy's lap, and when she went to return it, Mr. O'Reilly opened the door wearing nothing but boxer shorts. They allege O'Reilly retaliated on and off the air. I think when it you comes do, to Bill. This. We would not have this well, on the show think, if you didn't care. You can think whatever you want. I don't care whether it's banned or not. Huddy, who worked at Fox for 18 years, also claims she was sexually harassed by current Fox News co-president Jack Abernethy, alleging that early on in her career at Fox, he pursued a personal relationship with her. And when she rejected him, he began trashing her. A Fox News spokesperson telling ABC News, Juliet Huddy's letter of intent to sue contained substantial falsehoods, which both men vehemently denied. A person briefed on the situation says Fox was aware of Huddy's, quote, false allegations when they signed Abernethy to a new multi-year deal in September. Huddy left her job at Fox News' affiliate here in New York in September, simply saying it was time for her to move on. We've reached out to her and her lawyers. They've declined to comment. Which is understandable. All right, Lindsay, thank you very much.